Dear viewers, welcome to Nursad Satellite Channel and Telelumir TV. On the occasion of the blessed Easter according to the Western calendar, the Nursad Satellite family in the Holy Land of Jordan and Palestine, represented by the Regional Director Dr. Basim Sam'an and the team, extends their warmest congratulations, greetings and best wishes, wishing all Christians in Jordan and around the world abundant health and well-being, and may the Risen One illuminate for them the path of love and peace. Now let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis, the continuation of tension in the West Bank, and Gaza threatens the security of the people there. Patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem renew the call for peace in the Holy Land. Cardinal Pietro Perelin, war with its violence, hatred, and death makes celebration Easter difficult. Churches following the Western calendar celebrate Holy Saturday. Welcome back. Pope Francis has sent a message to the Catholic faithful in the Holy Land, saying, I have been thinking of you for a while and praying for you every day. I am close to you in your various rituals, especially those who suffer in these difficult circumstances of a tragic war, the children who have been deprived of a future, those who cry and suffer, those who live in anxiety and loss. I want each one of you to feel my love as a father who knows your pains and hardships, especially those you have faced in recent months. His Holiness added the continuation of tension in the Middle East without taking decisive steps towards peace poses a serious ongoing threat to the security of the people there and the peace of the entire world. The Holy Father concluded his message by saying, I bless you and ask for the protection of Our Lady Mary, the daughter of the land. I renew my call to all the Christians in the world to show their support for you through action and to pray for you tirelessly so that all the inhabitants of your beloved land may enjoy peace. The patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem have reiterated their condemnation of all acts of violence targeting innocent civilians in the ongoing war, renewing their call for an immediate and sustainable ceasefire and the expedited distribution of humanitarian aid. They also called for the release of all prisoners and the commencement of negotiations to end the cycle of violence in the Holy Land. In their joint annual message on the occasion of Easter, the patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem said, We fully understand the severe suffering surrounding us in the Holy Land and reiterate our condemnation of all acts of violence in the war, especially those targeting innocent civilians. The church leaders also extended special greetings to the faithful in Gaza who have borne heavy crosses and sought refuge in the churches of Saint Porphyrius and the Holy Family. Meanwhile, as the fighting intensifies and the war continues in Palestinian territories, Jerusalem and Gaza are experiencing somber atmospheres these days, overshadowed by sadness during the celebrations of Easter. The Catholic community in Gaza, along with all Christians in Gaza, are holding masses and prayers amidst these alarming circumstances. The Holy Family Catholic Church in Gaza held an Easter celebration amidst the ongoing battles in the region, with around a hundred believers gathering in the church, illuminated by candlelight to commemorate the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. The church is located a short distance from the Al Shifa medical complex, which has been the center of intense fighting between the conflicting parties for about two weeks. Similarly, in Jerusalem, the atmosphere in the city was equally gloomy as in Gaza. In the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, Catholic churches following the Western calendar celebrated Holy Saturday of the Holy Light. The funeral procession of Christ was presided over by His Beatitude Cardinal Prepatista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, in the presence of Franciscan Fathers, a large number of bishops, priests, deacons and congregants. The celebration began with the reenactment of the Holy Cross procession in the whole city, leading to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Cardinal Pizzabella and the custodian of the Holy Land, Father Francesco Paton, led the procession, accompanied by ambassadors from several countries and visitors from abroad, led by the bearer of the Holy Cross. The funeral prayer of Christ was held at the Church of Our Lady of the Annunciation for the Catholic Melkites, followed by the funeral of Christ at the Church of St. Thomas for the Catholic Syrians and the Maronite Church near the gate of Hebron in Jerusalem. 
Cardinal Pizzabella said that in his Easter Sunday sermon, despite this tragic time marked by much violence, we are still able to proclaim life, love, and the light that this holiday carries. He added, at this moment, we want to express our special thanks to His Holiness Pope Francis, who expressed his closeness to our Christian communities in a beautiful message he sent us on the eve of Easter Tritum, accompanying us in prayer and contemplation. He pointed out that His Holiness invites us to be lights shining in the night, but it seems that this war will never end, and the only loud and decisive voice is the voice of weapons after all attempts to stop the hostile acts have failed. Cardinal Pizzabella emphasized that the Easter of Christ requires us to be courageous in defending the dignity of life, not to fear the looming darkness on the horizon, and not to remain closed in ourselves. His Eminence, Archbishop Christophorus, the Orthodox Archbishop of Jordan, presided over a service of the hymns to the Mother of God during the Holy Lent season at the Church of the Dormition of the Virgin Mary in Assault. At the end of the service, His Eminence congratulated the congregation on the Lenten period and praised the Mother of God, praying to God to protect Jordan and have mercy on Gaza in these difficult times and to lift the scourge of war and trials from them and the entire world. The prayer was attended by Cypriot and Georgian ambassadors, along with several priests and deacons in the presence of members of the congregation. During his visit to the Salt, His Eminence inspected the renovation works of the monastery annex and the youth hostel in Assault. The hostel consisted of several floors available permanently to accommodate tourists and visitors to the city. The youth hostel will be equipped with a cultural and spiritual library comprising both physical and electronic books, reflecting the spiritual and cultural identity of our Holy Land. In conjunction with the Holy Lenten fast, numerous churches in the kingdom held liturgies that embodied the essence of this sacred time with the spirit of prayer, fasting, and repentance. At the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in Latin Fahis, the Stations of the Cross Prayer and an evening of hymns were held by the Philadelphia Voices groups consisting of mothers and children. The Mass was presided over by Father Matthew with the participation of Father Emma de Toile and Father Paolo Flecht in the presence of a large congregation of believers. Additionally, a divine liturgy was held at the Church of St. Michael the Archangel in Smekie to mark the Lenten season. The liturgy was presided over by Father Khaled Gammo in the presence of Father Tariq Abu Hanna, several nuns and a congregation of parishioners from the area. The program Eye on the East, hosted by Father Nabil Haddad on Nursat TV, featured Dr. Hanna Kildani, the pastor of the Virgin Mary Church in Swafiya, in a new episode titled A Conversation in Fasting. Father Kildani defined fasting as a meeting with God and an opening to all others. The International Federation of Global Peace Organizations hosted an iftar dinner for orphaned children from various orphanages and centers in the kingdom. The event was attended by the President and members of the International Federation of Global Peace Organizations, as well as the Director of Endowments, Firas Abu Khayt, and a number of invited guests from official and Islamic personalities, with the participation of 60 children. Father Dr. Jiria Smirat, Director of International Relations at the Union, stated that this iftar comes as a continuation of the activities organized by the Union over the years, reflecting the values of social solidarity and mutual support. Dr. Sana Shibli, Peace Ambassador, highlighted that the aim of the iftar event is to bring smiles to the children's faces and bring joy into their hearts. The event included various entertainment activities that brought joy to the children, alongside the distribution of gifts to them. Bishop Hussam Naoum, the Angelical Art Bishop of Jerusalem, presided over the Eastern celebration at the Cathedral of St. George the Martyr. The Easter service included the renewal of baptismal vows and spiritual hymns. His Grace also led the Holy Communion service for both the Arabic and foreign congregations, assisted by several priests of the Cathedral. The Cathedral Choir performed some hymns during the service with the participation of the Arab children. In another context, the Evangelical Lutheran Church of the Redeemer in Amman celebrated the International Women's Day, Mother's Day, and the Feast of the Annunciation. The event was attended by a large number of women from the local community. The church hosted lawyer Amal Haddadin to discuss the importance of women's role in society, as she serves as a legal advisor on the National Committee for Women's Affairs. Here, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our broadcast. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis, the continuation of tension in the West Bank, and Gaza threatens the security of the people there. 
Patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem renew the call for peace in the Holy Land. Cardinal Pietro Perelin, war, with its violence, hatred and death, makes Celebration Easter difficult. Churches following the Western calendar celebrate Holy Saturday. For more details, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Wishing you all the best and may you have a blessed year ahead. Hope to see you soon.